Good evening, everyone. I hope that this has been a great week for you. And before we part, I thought that it would be very valuable to take a few minutes of your time to share some parting thoughts. So without further ado, let's take a look at a few things. First, all the content of this week is available on YouTube. If you follow the URL embedded in the QR code above my head, you'll see that it takes you to the CP Conference Series uh, channel on YouTube, where you will find all the material from CP 2020, as well as all the material from this year. Uh, this is meant to actually help you use this content and refer to it, because we know that it's not always possible to see a talk when it's uh, shared during the conference. Note also that the forum will stay open for another three months after the wrap-up of the conference so that you can go and check the comments or responses made by authors to questions that were raised uh, during the conference itself. After that point in time, that material will be archived and read-only and will be available through the ACP archives. Um, notice that we will do one more update post-mortem. We will actually update the schedule to link every single paper to its PDF in the proceedings. Uh, that will make it quite easy for you to actually get to the material in a very nice way uh, going forward. Um, this being said, it's important to understand that organizing an online conference is a tricky operation. Uh, we tried our best to provide you with plenty of opportunities to get access to all the content, whether it was invited talks, tutorials, or presentation from authors. All of this was broadcasted three times in different time block. All of it, trailers, as well as the full-length uh, presentation are available on YouTube. And I certainly hope that you will make use of those past the end of the conference. Notice that uh, even after just a few days, the YouTube statistics for the channel show that trailers have been viewed more than 100 times. Uh, so this is a very good sign that this material is valuable to all of us. Of course, we had lots of registration uh, nearing 400 in the end, uh, but it's important to realize that registration to an online conference do not necessarily translate in being available during the conference. Indeed, we still all have to deal with our obligations based on the fact that we're home. Uh, it's tricky to get engagement. I totally understand this. It's hard to connect. It's hard to socialize. The spaces that we had set up for this were not used as much as we hoped they would. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a very valuable thing. And I hope that all this material will find a second life in the coming weeks as you come back to it and revisit these talks that you might have missed. So I certainly encourage you to make use of this URL. Go to YouTube and see uh, everything that um, you didn't get a chance to see during the conference. Now, I hope you had a great time. It's clear that online will never replace face-to-face -face quality time. Uh, and I certainly hope to see most of you in IFA next year at the CP conference uh, and to be able to reminisce about uh, the talks we've heard and the events of this week over a nice beer or a glass of wine. So see you next year. That being said, I'd like to actually give a few pointers and plugs for upcoming event. Uh, we've heard today that the winter school will take place in 2021 and André Siré, as well as David Bergman, will be organizing a school on optimization with multiple multi-value decision diagrams. Um, so check it out. It's a definitely great opportunity. Uh, another plug, uh, the ICS conference from Informs Computing Society will take place in 2022, in early January, actually, or in late January. And this is the URL. This will be in Tampa. Uh, it will be 100% in person. And we are still accepting contribution. I hope that you can send one by November 1st. Yes, it's very soon, in just two days. You can do so by the Easy Chair. And those are uh, contributed talks where you get the chance to present your work and advertise and disseminate what you've been working on. So if you'd like to actually take a trip to the U.S., uh, and in Florida, of all places, uh, during the middle of the winter, consider uh, sending a submission. Uh, CPIOR 2022, there is the URL for the website. It will be in California, which would be awesome. Uh, the abstracts are due very soon for this, as well as papers shortly after. And of course, uh, CP 2022 will be in IFA. 
The conference will be in early August, which means that the deadlines are much sooner than usual. Actually, the deadlines for paper will be in February. Uh, so I would encourage all of us to get going, get cracking and get uh, ready to submit uh, papers for this event. With that, uh, I'd like to wrap up by thanking all of you for making the conference possible. Uh, it's the authors who have actually produced papers, produced video, come and made presentation, answered questions, all the attendees that interacted with them, all the session chairs, and I required quite a few of them to actually man all the sessions and make this a success, all the volunteers for the Zoom room and for making sure that all the content was played at the right time, and of course, the two organizers, Carmen and Philippe, without whom uh, the online aspect would have been much more difficult to achieve. Finally, the Association for Constraint Programming, uh, it's because of them that we can run a conference without revenues. I thank them very much for the opportunity they've given us to actually enjoy a scientific event like this one. And with that, it's a wrap. I hope you enjoy the week and I'll certainly look forward to see you again uh, in IFA or hopefully uh, in Florida in just a few months. Bye-bye.